right, this is example number three from section 16.6. .6. So we here we have a system of connecting bars. We have bar A, B, that is where A is connected to ground by a pin, and then we have B, C, both connected with pin, and uh, we have the bar connected B and C connected to C, D by a pin here, and D is connected to ground as well by a pin. We are given the angular velocity of rod B, C. So this is known, and we are asked to calculate the angular velocity of rod A, B. How do we do that? In this case, there is several ways to do this, uh, but the approach that I'm going to use it in this moment is the instant center of rotation. When we talk about center instead of rotation, it's very important to understand where are the path of those, the, the motion of the points, of those pins. And we have to know that the velocity is always tangent to the trajectory or the path. So for example, here we know that the rod is moving in this direction and we have that point D fixed to ground. So this is for, for rod DC. So if I draw my DC here, let me draw it right here. So since this is a fixed point, that move, point B move in this trajectory. So my velocity C will be tangent to that trajectory and will be perpendicular to that rod. So the velocity of C will be equals to omega or velo angular velocity dc times the, the, the distance, which is 0.5. Two, since this is four, and this is 0.5, I have that the velocity of C is two meters per second in that direction. So if we want to put it in, in vector form, this will be negative five. I'm using A coordinate system X and Y, vertical and horizontal. Now, if we draw now the bar BC, we already know that this velocity is in this direction, which is actually goes in the direction of the, let me draw it with a different color so we can see it better. So this is the velocity of C. And what do we know about the velocity of B? So if we draw the rod A, B, and we know this is a fixed point, this is the instant center of rotation, and this is the instant center of rotation of this bar, then we know that the, the trajectory of B is, is that way. So we can say if this move in this direction, the velocity of B will be perpendicular to that bar. So we actually can draw, draw our perpendicular right here, right? Perpendicular to, see, since it's perpendicular, and we know that this angle is 30, so we know that this angle is 30, then we know that this angle is 30. So we actually are able to find our instant center of rotation of this bar, which we, we like to find it because if we find the instant center of rotation, we will be able to find the angular velocity of this bar and then find the angular velocity of this bar. So how do we find the center of rotation? We know that it has to be perpendicular to each of the velocities of my body. So if I know this velocity and I know this velocity, I know this cent instant center of rotation has to be here. And if I take that angle, this is 30 degrees, and I know this distance. So from that distance that I know and the angle, I use the trigonometry to find where is it located. So I can call this vector of position C respect to my center instead of rotation, and this is RB respect to my instant center of rotation. So using the trigonometry, I can say that the tangent of 30 is equals to RC is C over 0 0.4. Therefore, EC IC is equals to tangent of 30 times 0 0.4, which gives me 
a value of 0 0.2309 meters. Then I can use cosine to find the other distance. So I can say that R, R B I C cosine of 30 is equal to 0 0.4. So from here I solve for the, that distance and I get that that distance is equal to 0 0.4 over cosine of 30 which is 0 0.469 meters. So now I know these two distance. I know this distance and I know this distance. Since I know already the velocity and I know this distance, I can find how much is the angular velocity of that bar. So I can, using this information, and using this information, I can say that the velocity of C is equal to the omega of that bar, BC, times the, the position of the center of, of rotation. So that will be that my angular velocity of BC is equal to BC over instant center of rotation. So this is 2 over 1 here, 0 0.2309. The angular velocity of bar BC is equal to 8. 0.66 radians over sec. And finally, using that information and this information, so using these two pieces of information, I can find the velocity of B. Velocity of B will be equals to the angular velocity of BC times the distance to my, my eastern center of rotation which will be equals to this value, 8.66 times 0 0.4960. What we are being asked to find is the angular velocity of the bar AB. So we know that the instant center of rotation of this bar is A. So what we do is velocity of B, which we have those two values calculated right here, is omega AB times that distance, and that distance is one meter. So uh, what I'm going to substitute is these two values over here, and then I find that the value of AB is equal to 8.66 times 0. So, and that means that AB is equal to 4.0 radians over six. It's the same as here, which is four meters per second. Okay, so now we found what we were asked to find. Let's review just one second. What did we do? So, since we had the information of bar C, we calculated the velocity of C, and we calculated, we found the direction of the velocity of B, and with those two pieces of information, we found the instant center of rotation of BC. That allowed us, allowed us to calculate that angular velocity and this angular velocity. So you can also see the solution of this problem in the PowerPoint presentation, which is right here.